You guys know I have a strong stomach. I've eaten every organ raw out of an animal, the eyes, the brains, even the testicles. As you guys know, I love balls. But this made me want to vomit. I was gagging when I was watching this, just like my boyfriend, I mean my girlfriend uh, was the other day. Uh, so let this be a warning to you guys before I show this clip. If you're a bit squeamish, Definitely skip ahead a minute or so. So let me get this straight, an infection in your fingernails from a poor diet and living conditions is actually you detoxing. He's acting like he's on some holy mission to remove some toxic demons from his body when in reality he's creating the toxic environment by focusing his nutrition on nonsense fruit. Buddy. You do need a doctor. Not for the cyst though, or whatever's coming out of your finger. I think a brain transplant is in order. And what is the boy leprechaun's solution to this? Day 20 of the juice fast. Haven't eaten anything in 20 days. Are you having any BMs? Yeah, I have two to three every day. Yesterday I had six, six bowel movements after 19 days of not eating anything. Six bowel movements drinking juice all day? Sounds like your brain's out. Is that why Freely and all of the vegans live in the woods so they can just shit all day like cows? So I've been doing about 16 ounces every hour. So then that way, you know, it absorbs more easily. Easier on the eliminative organs, the elimination organs. Man, I love celery juice. And cilantro. Super important cilantro juice these days. Detoxifies, pulls the heavy metals. Yeah. No wonder his face is breaking out and he's on the toilet all day. He's flushing his stomach with pure sugar every waking minute. I think it's funny how these vegans talk about detox and heavy metals, yet these juices have enough agrochemicals, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides to kill a horse. While he's pooping his panties in some Southeast Asian jungle, he's also giving dietary advice and has developed his own delusional ideas about nutrition that he's conveying to other people without any understanding of biochemistry. I mean, I, mean, I joke all the time like, yeah, listen, if, if you guys are coming to me and I'm the end all be all solution, you know, what are all these doctors doing? Well, they simply don't care. But I mean, if, if you're going to a guy like Rob Bliss, then I think we're, uh, I think we're uh, in a pretty bad spot. Coconuts are the ultimate juice. Pure life force energy, pure, pure blood plasma. You get like a blood transfusion every time you drink one. A blood transfusion when you drink coconut? I would love to know where this kid got his information from. I'm assuming it's from some other nut job. But considering coconut is just electrolytes and sugar, you know, whereas blood is composed of proteins, very rich in minerals like iron and copper, this couldn't be further from the truth. It's a very simple example to show you how stupid these people are, how idiotic these plant-based dieters tend to be. It's like telling someone how to drive a car when you don't even know how to fill it up with gasoline. I did uh, one meal a day for a little over a year and I thought it was amazing you know you get a lot done and it increases the HGH in your body so you can exercise more effectively and build muscle exercise more effectively and build muscle how's that working for you buddy This thing's heavy, man. We 
gotta make use of what you got. No more dumbbells. These are heavier than my dumbbells. <laughs> I fucking can't. I, I, I just can't. I, I, I mean, his stomach looks like a 40 year old woman who had four C sections. It's like the female menopause paunch. He literally does not have a bicep. It's like he flexes his arm, and his arm gets smaller. <laughs> I don't know what to do. How many of you lovely ladies would like to lay under that floppy soy boy belly while he fails to get his pee pee up? And if you think that's gross, get a load of this. About six o'clock in the morning, I just did a, another aged urine enema. Um, urine aged almost two months now. Super powerful medicine. And I tried to hold it for like as long as I could, but I could only hold it for like two minutes. I think it's really effective. I mean, cleaning the colon from both sides. I have an inflamed colon, um, descending colon, uh, which is the, you know, the exit ramp. So yeah, squats are a great way to open that up too. And I just feel so much lighter and better this morning. I think it's been like a week since my last, my first, my first enema. So yeah, I think they can be extremely beneficial. What else can I say? Can it get any worse? I mean, I know vegan boys love shooting things up their butts, but I don't know if there's a good reason to do this specifically. Robles, did you ever consider that your colon could be inflamed from the candida demon you're growing with all that sugar you're sucking down? Or possibly all of the pathogenic bacteria that are growing in your putrid fermenting sugar urine? Like, I don't want to know what it smells like over, oh my god, that's a, some horror show. We gotta do like a professional horror documentary movie on what this guy's doing in his bathroom. It's amazing watching every day getting healthier. I can tell all my nails now have moons. Um, even coming in. Before these didn't have moons, they're just starting to come in on these fingers. There's like a map you can look up online, like each of your fingers represents a certain organ, like the bladder, or the kidneys, the lungs, or stuff like that. And yeah, they're starting to come in. And my nails are growing back thicker and fast. My hair is growing faster. My eyes are getting brighter. So yeah, I think it's a great sign. It's common knowledge that having no moons on your nails is related to nutrient deficiencies and thyroid problems, both of which a vegan diet is perfect for getting. The reason he started feeling a little better these past few weeks, without a doubt, is because he's been eating worms. Oh God. Whoa. Jeez, you really got a bite? I know. Okay, That's maybe, maybe if I get them. They cook them. Oh man, I think I got some juice. I got some juice out of there. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh yeah, it has to let it fly. Man, how do they get them? How do they do this? They kill them first, man. Then I get them raw like <laughs> yes, this. Yes, they do. See, look at the juice. You see the juice coming out? Now, as much as I think he's completely delusional and on the wrong track, in his recent video, he did have the guts to talk about the new Wi-Fi towers, you know, what's going on in the world right now the agenda, us being controlled. You know, the same can't be said about any of these other carnivores or vegans. So, you know, between a lot of people, I have a lot more respect for Robles and, you know, in a way it's unfortunate that, you know, people fall into this plant-based nonsense and they don't have the IQ or the objectiveness, you know, or the, you know, really just ability to do the research to understand what truly makes us healthy. That's why 
I made my YouTube channel. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, leave a comment down below for me guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Definitely hit that bell icon so you know when I post a video every day at 11 a.m. Eastern time. If you guys do want to support me further, there's a bunch of stuff down in the comments that you can check out. I'll see you guys tomorrow.